So I'm gonna show you why I feel it really does matter exactly where you live in Puyallup. So I used to live in Puyallup for a few years and I purchased another home in Tacoma, but we're gonna take a little drive during traffic hours. So you're looking at right here, it is at 4.30. And you know, we already know peak traffic hours in Puyallup in Meridian, which is the straight shot road that basically everyone has to go through. For the most part, we all find our own little ways to kind of go somewhere else to find our ways to go in Puyallup. Why it really does matter in terms of where you live in Puyallup, because it can really change things when it comes to your commute. If you live in the north end of Puyallup, mainly near the fairgrounds, or just, we can just call it Northern Puyallup or downtown Puyallup, you're not gonna be dealing with all the traffic that comes with living in this area that's basically been booming forever. Puyallup was a small farm town back in the day, but now with all these communities being built in that area, it is, in my personal opinion, overpopulated. Why is it overpopulated? Because it was a good place to live. Um, you know, people do say, oh, crimes went up, but in terms of crime in general, Pearson King County, they lead the entire Washington state. So you can't be too picky because it kind of just is what it is when you live in those areas, but it ain't bad, okay? I take a drive from Tacoma down to Puyallup, and then I want to give you a good showing in terms of when you're actually coming back home to Puyallup, meaning you're going to come back more than likely, you probably work in Tacoma or Seattle, and you're coming back home, so you have to go back south on Meridian. So I'm going to give you a little feel in terms of how it actually feels if you purchase a home in Puyallup, you don't have to drive your butt back home, okay? My name, by the way, is George Rodriguez with EXP Realty. I'm a realtor here in the state of Washington. And, you know, sometimes we gotta do a little video log and kinda, you know, change it up a little bit because not everybody just wants to see you talk at your desk. And I get it. That's all the videos I've done. But, you know, kinda is what it is. So right now we are driving from Eastside Tacoma going down Portland Ave, and then from Portland Ave. I know it's raining right now, so you can't see the beautiful uh, luxuries that we have in the Evergreen State, but you get to see one of the things we will always have. We will always have this rain. It ain't going nowhere, it's never going anywhere. So you just kinda gotta learn to live it, love it, and just deal with it. But so as you come down this way to Portland Ave, um, this section right here, as you move forward, um, it's gonna be to 512. So 512, you'll get used to it. With 512, um, it's what's gonna connect you uh, to, I believe it's 167 and I-5. And 512 North, uh, headed towards Puyallup. The way that we're going to go, um, we're gonna hit, the top portion of Puyallup, right by the South Hill Mall. Overall, in my opinion, I believe Puyallup is a really great place to live. In terms of comparisons, when you are going to be putting like Tacoma next to it, uh, or Spanaway, Parkland, being in Puyallup gives you more of that HOA community, white picket fence type feel because there's a lot of, you know, beg my pardon for lack of uh, good wordsmanship, but there's a lot of cookie cutter homes there uh, that were basically built in succession for years and years and years. And the north end of Puyallup, Think about it this way, that's where a lot of the older homes tend to be. So you're not gonna have a lot of the opportunities for a newer construction up there. But as you go further south to South Hill, further down Meridian, you're gonna have the opportunity for newer construction. And that is where a lot of the traffic tends to actually build up because everyone's trying to leave that area from the southern part, getting into the northern part because you have to be able to get to 512 and from 512 to make it to I-5. Give some certain things when you live in these suburb areas because you know the closer you are to the city, the more, I guess you can say, expensive it is or the more uh, crime you could face when you get closer into those areas. So you kind of give up some of those luxuries of having a good location aspect in terms of being able to get to Seattle faster, being able to get to downtown Tacoma faster. You give those up, meaning you give those up to have the ability of a quieter lifestyle when you live in Puyallup. But overall, it's not a bad place to be. Um, 
You can take this one right here, and this will take you to the start of Puyallup to go to head back down south. But we're gonna go to the official top portion of Meridian. Now, you see right here all this traffic that's gonna be on here on your left side. So all these individuals are coming from, I believe it's 167 down. Um, and they're, they're either headed to Tacoma or Spanaway at that portion, but that's another way to come down from Seattle when you're coming from uh, the north of 512 where it actually merges into uh, 167. So now we're, we're gonna take this exit right here. Uh, this exit is going to be basically the tippy top portion of Puyallup when you're not going to be going to the fairgrounds or downtown Puyallup. In most cases, uh, most individuals that do end up finding a home in Puyallup, it's going to be in this lighter section, section of Puyallup. So we're going to go ahead and get over right here. So personally with me uh, living in Tacoma, coming to Puyallup, it probably takes around like, I would say a cool like 15 minutes to get to Puyallup. Where I'm from, basically it's the perfect location for being able to touch 512 and I-5, so it just works out perfectly for me. If you're in different sections of Puyallup, it could be a little bit different, but I can speak to my personal rendition of how it is living in this section of Pierce County. Welcome to Armageddon, that is Meridian. So right now, as you see right here, we are next to the South Hill Mall, and now we are headed going south to Meridian. This is the traffic of Meridian, which in my personal opinion, is going to be the least favorable thing about living in Puyallup, uh, mainly due in part to this traffic. So it's not a bad thing. There's traffic everywhere, not just here, but in the whole United States, but there's different locations that have more so than others. There isn't very many cons in my opinion of Puyallup, but this one is going to be one of the major benefactors of a con for Puyallup when trying to navigate this area. Attention to what time it is. We are going to see how long it takes us to get from basically the South Hill Mall, which is the northern portion of Meridian, down to the south portion of Meridian and see how long it takes to get from one end to the other. And that's gonna give us a good idea in terms of how far excuse me, how long it's gonna take you to really get home. Because after a long day of work, the last thing you're trying to do is spend an ungodly amount of time in traffic trying to get home. So for me, I've worked from Piala to downtown Tacoma, and my commute took me around 35 minutes. Um, sometimes if you left a little earlier, it'd take around 28 minutes, but it just really depends. But when you're coming back home, it's a totally different story. It can take you anywhere from 35 to 40 minutes, depending on what section of Piala. So this area of Puyallup right here, this is gonna be where a lot of your automotive centers, gas stations, you got Starbucks over here, McDonald's. This is where a lot of your storefronts are going to be in terms of uh, retail access for yourself. This main strip has basically everything you're going to need um, when trying to get anything. See a lot of your retail centers are gonna be here. A lot of your fast food chains will be here as well as Chipotle's right here. So basically Puyallup's gonna have its own way of taking care of you in terms of if you need any centers, you have Target back by South Hill Mall, you have Walmarts on the bottom end, the top end, uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, you have plenty of stores here that can take care of you. So if you are living within Puyallup, the nice thing that you're going to have is being able to have all these storefronts to really handle all of your needs, this little plaza. Longston Place right here is gonna have the biggest movie theater that they have for Puyallup. So this is gonna be, right here is gonna be Regal Cinema. This Regal Cinema generally is where you're gonna go to have those little movie nights for your kids. You have a Safeway right here. Man, we over here moving nicely on Meridian today. You know, it's nice to see when the camera is on, you're getting all the green lights. It's a beautiful sight to see. 
some more construction over here. It looks like we have another business going up in this section of Puyallup. The nice thing is that you're not gonna really have to leave Puyallup to get what you need. You can stay in your area and that can't be said for a lot of locations. Like for example, in Spanaway, um, they don't really have too many of the retail outlets besides Walmart being the biggest thing over there to really satisfy what you need as an individual when living there. But with Puyallup, they have everything that you could really ask for. They even have a Costco over here, a movie theater over here. So to take care of the needs of your children, Children, it's easy to be had in Piala, but of course, when it does come to certain aspects, I mean, they don't have everything, but in terms of suburban living, they can really cover all of the basis of what you really need. So you don't have to leave Piala to get something that's not here because basically everything is here minus some you know good activity with the sports team events of course you're not going to have that in this section because hey man there ain't no sports teams in piala besides your kids softball team or your kids wrestling team all right We have a Target and LA Fitness. Um, this little plaza right here, Sunrise. Uh, Sunrise is actually going to carry a lot of your needs when it does come to um, household items, household goods. Good sushi spot for trappers. It's kind of like a local chain that's become, that started in Puyallup. Um, they basically kind of blossomed, become, I guess like this, like a little sushi darling of this old Pierce County area right there. That little original pancake house right there, that slaps. Hey, they got a good, uh, they got some good bacon over there, man. Thick, thick bacon. Overall today, I'll be honest, the traffic for uh, Meridian, not that bad today, but uh, usually it's pretty trash. I ain't even gonna lie to you, it's pretty bad sometimes. But, you know, overall today, not that bad at all. We're moving pretty smooth here. Uh, but, you know, for, to get from the freeway down to this area, uh, I'm gonna say probably takes you around like a cool 20 minutes. And some people be like, hey, bro, that's still kind of long. Look, I hate driving. I totally agree with you, okay? I totally agree with you. But, you know, it's usually just about how long it really takes um, in this area. But, you know, to me, it might feel like the norm here. But I, I could be tripping. I could be tripping. Am I tripping? Who knows? You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me if I'm tripping, if I think 20 minutes from the freeway is kinda, you know, normal. Of course, as we're going down Meridian, they always have the properties that are on the back side of Meridian, but generally, uh, most of the mass construction was done further south. So essentially, think about it this way, if you purchase in South Hill, the southern part of Puyallup, it's probably gonna take you around 20 to 25 minutes to get to your home from the freeway, and that's not accounting, you know, if you live in, let me see, that's not accounting if you work in Tacoma or even Seattle for those that commute that far uh, south to get from their workplace to their residential home. So this is what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say basically when you get to 176 and Sunrise around this portion right here, going further south is gonna take you Graham take you to Graham on the backside. And then if you go down this way, you got some more properties over here. So it's gonna take you from the freeway just about, I wanna say, let's just average it and call it 20 minutes. It's gonna take you around 20 minutes to get from the exit from 512 to the north end of Puyallup to about the southern end of where you gotta to go to to get to your residential home in the southern part of uh, 
Piala. As a quick recap, it is gonna take you around 20 minutes to get from 512 to the south portion of Piala to South Hill uh, because Meridian, the traffic even today was pretty good. Honestly, there wasn't much stop and go. Not a lot of uh, vehicles on the road. Of course, it is five o'clock and really the peak hours of Meridian traffic is actually gonna be around three to four o'clock. So we did kind of dodge that, but still, if we did have that type of stop and go traffic, you're gonna be looking at around 30 minutes to get from the freeway portion down to the southern part of Puyallup, which is why personally, when, when people want to get my personal opinion of Puyallup, it's gonna be that, well, if you live in the southern portion, uh, excuse me, if you live in the northern portion, you're not gonna have any of the traffic and you have a free straight shot to I-5 after you take, you know, a couple of roads to get there, but it's nothing like how it is when you are working with the uh, southern portion of Piala. So this video is going to be really helpful for you to kind of feel in terms of how it looks driving through Puyallup on a nice rainy day in Washington, but also to kind of make you understand in terms of what the traffic is like when you live in Puyallup. Because it takes some time to get from I-5 to 512 down to Puyallup because it's not a straight shot connection for Puyallup to hit the actual interstate. So if you live in the southern portion of Puyallup, just make sure to understand that you're going to have to add anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to your daily commute. If if you don't work in Puyallup or even if you work in a different location because overall there isn't a good way to get to the interstates or even the freeways to allow you to actually maneuver better within this location so overall Puyallup is a good location to live and you know I wouldn't I would never knock it for anybody uh, just know that with this type of suburban living um, you are giving the luxury up of having a good commute because you're not going to have that in Piala, but it's not bad at all. So you kind of, it's a good take and give relationship, just like how all relationships should be, how all relationships should be. My name is George Rodriguez with eXp Realty. Of course, this is going to complete this video. And if you need to help buying or selling real estate within the state of Washington, don't be shy, don't hesitate. All contact information is going to be right here in the video, as well as in the description as well. So without further ado, you take care.